Right, right. I almost missed this the other day. Uh, Dave's record collection here at the thrift store. The Smothers Brothers. Gee, if I only had a turntable. If I only had a turntable. Gonna let you down. Never gonna bet, bet, bet. Hey, everybody. It's Letters, Letters, Letters for the uh, 17th of July, 2019. Uh, we got uh, a, ve an, a very heartfelt letter here from Judy Zimshad. I know Phyllis Strokes. Stokes. I know Phyllis Stokes, her channel name, was never on your radar, but her husband, Mr. Bucky, just passed July 7th. She's in her late 60s. He was in his late 70s or so. She just told us of his passing. She's been like a mom figure to me in the kitchen, and he's been a dad figure also eating everything she cooked. I'm actually hurting for some reason uh, for a stranger's passing that has affected me, and I'm much uh, hard to hard to emotionally affect person it must be my age i don't know it is true uh, judy how you get emotionally connected to uh some of these youtubers and how when they do pass away it really hits you it's like with becky you know uh fan life with becky bernie and hank bernie becky and hank i mean yeah she her passing away recently it just hit us all really hard and even though i never met her i did email her a couple times but she really felt like she was very close to me and i i felt close to her and uh i don't know it really you really do feel it when some of your favorite youtubers pass away uh warren has a uh, message for uh, wandering yimmy wandering jimmy apparently uh, you know jimmy's uh computer conked out after he his laptop he left it near too close to an open window in his van and it rained on it and uh, doesn't work anymore but Warren says, message for Jimmy, the Dems are out, jobs are in. <clears throat> Go get a real job, and you can buy anything you want. Oh, my aunt. Marsha writes, I've been uh, grown weary of the same old blah blah videos from RVers, and have been watching Appalachian Trail Hikers instead. There is even a reporter like you, like me, Camo Dave, named Rambino, who gives a review of what's going on uh, regarding hikers, like such as injuries, bear attacks, etc. Wow. I hope the RV gang does something a bit different soon. Uh, other than the Mortons on the move going to Alaska, things are rather flat. They are. They really are. I, I don't know. We got a number of these YouTubers, the nomads that are and RVers that are just, they, they're in nice places where they make channel you know, they, may, they have their channels, they crank out videos every couple days, they get an X amount of dollars, and they just are happy to just circle the same area or not even move at all, you know, or just park their RV in someone's backyard for the summer. Uh, and I don't know, man. You know, again, it's up to you. You can, you don't have to watch them. If it bothers you, if it bugs you, go watch other people. And the, you know, it's just as easy to unsubscribe as it is to subscribe. Uh, Ding Ding Dog 022 writes, Casey, Casey Roman, I guess, it's called summer. It happens every year. That's right. I think a lot of people are under the misconception that it, when the summer weather comes, they just head north and it'll all be okay. I, they don't realize how far north that hot, sticky, miserable, horrible weather goes, okay? I mean, especially in the east. You know, you can go up into New York State and New England and Pennsylvania and stuff like that and even parts of Canada and it's stinking hot in the summer those heat waves go way up there you know and I think some people are just not aware of that but yeah some of the, and sometimes the worst heat is up there in the Northeast you know well it's maybe it may be like 89 degrees in the Atlanta area and it's uh, 98 in DC and 102 in Philly and T. Kibbies has a rather good idea. He says, I should buy Blue Van Dan's place and allow the nomads to camp there. You'll be able to interview everyone. You know, that's not a bad idea. I don't know. How much, does anybody know how much Blue Van Dan is asking for the property? I don't know. I, I'm sure I don't have enough money in my measly little bank account, but maybe I could raise something. That would be kind of a neat area to live in. Oh, they, they do have those fires there in the summer. But, you know, hey, Camo Dave's, the, the, you know, compound where, you, you know, nomads are welcome 24-7. I don't know, man. I kind of like the, I mean, I know, I know some rich people like my Doxinator. Hey, Doxy, how about a couple million? I can't imagine BVD is asking a couple million for that property. How about a couple thousand? Maybe we can buy it. It could be a, a Zep. LLC production. We'll put it under the corporate name.
Oh, the wind's kicking up. Ooh, woo -hoo. I'm gonna blow away. Uh, Antique Hippies writes, we are in Cape May, New Jersey, in our 34 in, uh, foot, mo or th 34 inch, our 34 foot motorhome. We have a lot of windows and it just magnifies the sun, have drapes, but still hot, 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 even with AC, especially between 1 and 4 p.m. Again, it does matter how close you are to the ocean. If you're right on the ocean, the breezes should be nice, but a little bit inland, yeah, and you're going to be hot. Yeah, Cape May, I'll tell you, Cape May is my family's hometown, okay? All the, all the famous Hugheses are all buried there in Cold Spring Cemetery. Go over to Cold Spring Cemetery, it's just north of Cape May, and, look, and go right to the main church and look at all the Hugheses there in the cemetery. My great-great-great-great-grandpa, grandpa, Captain Humphrey Hughes, is buried there. Chad Braun writes that it's actually very hot and humid up in Wisconsin, too. It's been hot all this past week, and it's supposed to get up into the 90s on Friday with a heat index up to 100. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think one of the things you might want to consider if you're a nomad looking for cooler weather on the East Coast is the mountains. Um, I noticed there when we were in Western North Carolina a couple weeks ago, you can go up in some of those hills there. They're five, 6,000 feet up. And the temperature is in the 70s and the 60s during the day, even when it's, say, 90 degrees down in Charlotte or, uh, you know, Atlanta or something. So higher elevation, yeah, go up in the New Hampshire mountains, the uh, Poconos, find some place that's above three or 4,000 feet if you can find some camping up there. That'll probably be the coolest place you'll find without having to really go north. Ali Jean TSM, a.k.a. Barbie. Lacey Lee seems very fit. She does. I think she was a female bodybuilder. I posted a clip this morning uh, that went back to 2011. She was on television for being a female bodybuilder. She's, she's, she's got to be very fit. Uh, she just built her own RV pad, and she shared it on... Uh, and yeah, right. She was a bodybuilder, right. Perhaps she could join uh, Carolyn's RV life on the Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah, why not? Go... <laughs> She could, she probably could. I don't know if she's a hiker or not. That does take some special training, but uh, I, I don't know, uh, Lacey, I, would you be up for going up on the PCT and helping out a dear sweet friend of ours? Danny writes, Dave, I thought you and Motorhome Max were getting together in Florida. He was all excited about you uh, shouting him out at the beginning and now things have gotten stagnant. Max is having fun over there, so that's all that matters. Uh, spring will be like, some will be like, some will some will like some will hate that's what it is yeah i don't know yeah uh, motorhome max was there in North, northern florida i think uh, a couple months ago when i was there in the orlando area and we i said hey let's get together and i never heard back from him uh, he's out west now so i don't know i don't know nobody seems to like motorhome max i feel sorry you know everybody thinks uh they just don't like that puppet dog for some reason. uh ellen writes i enjoyed your thrift shop tour you should you look good in that black hat well I'll tell you something, I am at another thrift shop right now here in Athens. This is one, I've been, uh, I was looking at the record collection there. I'll show you the record collection at the end of the video here today. Some really cool records that I saw in there a little while ago. But yeah, they do have hats in here. You want to check them out? Uh, let's, let's see if some of these hats will look any good on me, huh? I don't know, man. Let's try some of these hats. <laughs> eh, don't think so. Uh, well, this kind of reminds me of uh, something of... <laughs> I don't know. I'll, is, I feel like I'm back in 1712. 1776, now. Nah, that one doesn't work. How about this one? Oh, that's kind of Western. I could be kind of a rhinestone cowboy, huh? And then finally, is this a pork pie? It's a little too small for me, but it kind of comes close, don't you think? Let's check out some records. I'm looking for one of these albums with the uh, little Aaron in them. Yeah, I, I'm not finding it. There's something about that. Oh, there he is. There's little Aaron. I knew I'd find him in one of these.
With your feet on the air and your head on the ground. Try this trick and spin it. Yeah, your head will collapse, but there's nothing in it. And you'll ask yourself, where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Way out in the water. See it swimming. See it swimming. <laughs>